waiting for the bad news knocking at my door but i like it like that we go all in and i'm falling but i like it like like it like that and it's so wrong but still so strong but i like it like like it like that now we catch you Hey, hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. If you're new, welcome. I'm so glad that you found me. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some deep cleaning of the kids' bedrooms. I'm going to be washing all their um, bedding and all of that, and then I'm finally taking down all the Christmas decor from upstairs. I'm going to organize all of that, and then I'm also going to be finishing the attic. A few weeks ago, I shared with you guys my attic and how much of a mess it was, so I'm going through cleaning, decluttering, and reorganizing all of that too. So you'll get tons of motivation in today's video. So as you can see, I'm starting with the bedding first. I'm just gonna go ahead and strip down these beds and get started on these in the washing machine because I know it's gonna take a little while for me to wash and dry these. So while these are washing, I'm actually going around upstairs and I'm gonna take down all the Christmas stuff and put them into bins and organize all of that. Now really quickly, I wanted to just introduce myself in case you have never watched any of my videos before. Like I said earlier, my name is Amy and I actually live right outside of Savannah, Georgia. I have two kiddos, Kaysen, he is nine, and then Gracie June is seven, and then I'm married to my amazing husband, Chance, and we also have a chocolate lab named Cooper. I actually started my YouTube channel about three years ago now, and it has been such a blessing. I've gotten to know so many of my subscribers. I consider you guys friends, and I feel like we just have one of the best communities ever. I see you guys always commenting to each other in the comments and just uplifting and supporting each other. And so thank you guys so much for just being here and being a blessing in my life. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you guys to introduce yourselves below, say hey, so that way other people in the community as well as myself can get to know you guys, and maybe just tell me a little bit about yourself and where you're from. And of course, if you enjoy my videos, um, I do lots of cleaning and decorating organization over here on this channel. I would love for you to subscribe. It's totally free, and it just lets you know whenever I post new videos. Now, I promise I'm not gonna talk the entire video, but I did wanna mention that as I'm taking down all of the Christmas decor, I am trying to fit everything that we have for Christmas into three tubs. So you can see the size of that tub there. That one I got a few years ago, or actually I got it last year. And then I tried to find the same ones because I love them so much, but they didn't have them. So I got some that were similar, about the same size from Walmart this year. And I will actually link all of the items that I use to organize in today's video. Anything that I mention in today's video, I'll link it in the description box. So that way, if you see anything that you like, you'll have a link to it and you can know where to find it. Now, when I was putting up all the Christmas stuff, Gracie June actually asked if she could keep this little nativity set out because she loves to play with it. So we decided to let her keep it in her closet, which is where she has like her Polly Pockets and other little toys and arts and crafts that we don't want in the playroom because we don't want them lost or messed up. But I thought it was so sweet that she wanted to keep it out so that she could play with it year round. And I just wanted to share that with y'all. All right, so I finally have all the Christmas decor down and I was actually able to get it all in three tubs. I was so proud of myself. But I'm gonna go ahead and put Kaysen's bedding back on his bed here. It's done drying and everything. And then I'm gonna deep clean his bedroom. Now, anytime I'm in the kids' bedrooms, I always get questions about their bedding because it's not a normal bedding set that you see every day. And it's actually called Betty's Bedding, and a lot of you have told me that you've gotten them for your kids too, and you absolutely love them. 
and basically it's just two pieces and they zip up together so it makes it super easy for your kids to make their own beds in like two seconds so like I said it's two pieces and you actually have your sheet built into the bedding so you don't have to worry about putting on a fitted sheet then another sheet and then your comforter the sheet is actually built into the comforter it's sewn in and you can choose whether you want a cotton one or a minky and my kids actually both have minky so it's super duper soft a lot of people choose cotton because they say that um, you know they don't want to be too warm at night and which I totally get that preference, but we actually live in Georgia where it's super warm and my kids have never really had an issue with the minky. Now the Betty's bedding is definitely pricier than what you would get at like Target for a normal bedding set, but the quality is so good. My, my kids have actually had their bedding for about two years now and it's still in really good condition. They have lots of different options and designs to choose from on their website. And they also have a 20% off discount code that they give my followers. So if you are interested in checking these out, if you're looking to like get new bedding for your kids or anything, then definitely use that 20% off coupon code. It's just Amy D. And I'll actually have a link in my description box that will take you straight to the Betty's website. And I'll leave my code there too, just in case you forget. But it's just Amy D. But like I said, they have lots of different options on there. I also got the kid, like, Kaysen's little throw pillows. He's got a basketball and a baseball throw pillow. I got those off of there. So they have a lot of really, really cute stuff for beds of all different sizes from twins to kings. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you right now. Your exquisite kiss still burning. Didn't know I missed this passion in life now. I'm addicted so now let me tell you why what is up with your smile it's impossible not melting irresistible all right so these are all the supplies that I've brought upstairs to start deep cleaning I've got some cleaning rags I've got my cordless musu vacuum cleaner I've also got my regular vacuum for at the end when I vacuum and then I have my cleaning caddy. I love this caddy. It's a lot bigger than most of the ones I've seen. I actually got it from Walmart and I'll link it below. But I love this caddy. I have all my cleaning supplies that I need in there. And then I have this little duster, which I did not end up using that at all. <laughs> so first I'm using my little Musu vacuum and I put the little handheld attachment on it. And I'm just using it to get any dust and anything off of the window sills and then also the doors and the baseboards. I'm a butterfly who has only begun Taking me a while to get it Had to live and cry to appreciate life And what you give is worth it When you're holding me and when you hold me so close I want further in under your skin Wanna leave a mark so that I can be sure That you remember what's been I used to be satisfied Now I'm just gonna use a rag and some multi-surface cleaner from Mrs. Myers, and I'm gonna wipe down our shutters. This is just how I like to dust our shutters. I do sometimes vacuum them, but majority of the time I like to wipe them down. Plus this smells really good, and I like it to smell really good in a room, especially after I've done the deep cleaning in there. Um, I also get questions about these rags. Anytime I use them, they are not microfiber cloths. They're actually surgical rags and a lot of you in the that work in hospitals know exactly what I'm talking about, but usually they dispose of these rags and they're just going to throw them away. So Chance a lot of times will bring bags of these home and they make perfect cleaning cloths.
Now on this next shot, I kind of wanted to show you how a camera can be so deceiving. From far away, it looks like this windowsill is pretty much clean. It doesn't look too bad, right? And then I show you up close and we've got like dead bugs and dog hair and dirt. I don't even know what else is in here. And it's honestly not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But you can see it's definitely a lot dirtier the closer up you get with the camera versus far away. So I'm just going to do a quick vacuum in this section as well. Now on my windows, I'm using the Jaws glass cleaner and then this is the second cloth that I'll be using. So it's not the same that I was using earlier. And I love the Jaws cleaner. I've used the Method um, glass and surface cleaner for a long time. And then over the last year, I've been using the Jaws glass cleaner and I love it. I use it on our windows, our mirrors, and even on like our TV screens. I got hungry for the stunning high mountain tops. So I made some plans, some dreams to catch, to promise lands, to find my path, see the planet from greater heights. I have found a place out of time and space. Now I'm going to go around and just dust the rest of the furniture here and I'm just still using that same multi-surface cleaner. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is use this pillowcase here. It's actually an old pillowcase. We have several of these just for this purpose. And you'll see we have so much dust here on the fan blades. And so I'm going to actually use the pillowcase to do the dusting. So I'm just taking the pillowcase, putting it over the fan blade, and sliding that dust right onto the inside of the pillowcase. And then when I'm done, I'll just flip the pillowcase inside out in the trash can, get all the dust out, and rewash them and then just use these pillowcases for cleaning. So you can see it does such a good job. It keeps the dust from falling onto the bed. And usually I actually do this before I take the comforter and everything off to wash them, just in case some dust still kind of falls down. But I completely forgot to do that first today, so. Oh well, hopefully no dust fell down onto the bed. None that I could see, but of course, you know, we can't see it all. But anyways, the last thing I'm going to do here in Kaysen's bedroom is just do a quick vacuum. This is my Shark Uplight, the best vacuum ever, and I will have it linked below as well. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I've just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time. To do everything you said you would Frames of the past and The memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the bar How could they say I was broken? How could they say you all right, so now I've got one bedroom cleaned completely, and now I'm moving on to Gracie June's room. I'm gonna start with the bedding and then the deep cleaning and everything. I'm using all of the same products, so I just decided to speed this one up a little bit more than when I was sharing Kaysen's room. Now I know that it's okay. I'm 
Alright, so while I'm cleaning in here, I did have a question for you guys. So basically, I am planning on going from room to room around my house and deep cleaning every room in my house and also doing some organizing projects around the house because I have a lot of spaces that need to be organized. And since I'm cleaning the kids' bedrooms in today's video, I figured I would go ahead and knock out the last bedroom, which is my bedroom in next week's video and I'm also going to be going through my closet and deep cleaning in there and getting rid of some clothes and things like that. I like to do that for my closet in January but I do the kids closet usually February or March. So that'll be the next project but what do y'all want to see after that? Would you rather see the kitchen, laundry room, um, bathrooms? What do you want to see after I get done with next week's video doing the closet in my bedroom? Now, I also wanted to tell y'all that we do plan on doing like a playroom makeover sort of thing. My kids are totally out of all of the toy stage. Gracie June still has a good bit of toys, but nothing like what they used to have. So we want to make over that room. It's never looked good in there, and we are really excited about getting that project done. So I'm definitely going to film that too. All right, so now both rooms are completely deep cleaned. It smells so good in their rooms and hopefully they can keep them clean for more than two seconds. <laughs> but it feels so good to have both of these rooms checked off the to-do list. Now we're moving on to my bedroom and Cooper actually hits the camera here which is why the camera turns and it's kind of a funny angle but I'm just basically vacuuming and then putting our bedding on in here. I'm not doing a deep cleaning in here today because I need to get on to the attic. All right, now I have a load of laundry to fold. This was actually laundry that was washed and dried yesterday, so they had already been sitting in the basket since yesterday, so I wanted to go ahead and get this done, and that way I could have an empty basket because I was actually ready to start um, washing some more laundry the next day, and I needed this basket empty for that.
right, so I'm gonna take you in my attic. This is the closet going into my attic, which we <laughs> we need to go through. And actually, this is on my list of things to organize at the beginning of this year. Um, oh, I left the attic light on. Great. Okay, so this is walking into my attic. I've moved some stuff around. I've already taken some stuff out. We've got a bunch of our wreaths sitting here. I'm really not even sure what's in that basket. I'm gonna pull that out. These are empty tubs right here. Those are the ones that I emptied and had downstairs in my last video. I just stuck them in here for right now, but I'm gonna take those out. We've got another wreath sitting up here, and actually we have a bunch of these, but they're in our upper attic, so I'm gonna actually take that to the upper attic because that's where all of our outdoor Christmas decor goes. And then we have some huge tubs of paint up here. I think we're gonna actually get rid of some of this stuff because I don't think we're gonna need that much paint. It's kind of a pain getting it down whenever we do need it. Um, this is our, obviously goes with our Christmas tree. Some more tubs right here. A bunch of florals in this little basket which I'm gonna take out of that some frames more tubs that's all of our like fall and Halloween decor let me get this light on all right and then as we go back here so see you can see we have some frames over here some more paint those are the tubs that I was showing um, we've got some more tubs right here all of chances hunting gear I'm not even sure what's in these tubs honestly I need to go through them I think that that might be like school stuff but it's stuff that I've pulled out to use with the kids every now and then. Um, but that might go in the upper attic because I really don't think that, or I might actually get rid of some of that stuff too. This is the middle console for my van, but we don't want to put this in the upper attic because it's so heavy. Um, boxes of things that we still haven't even unpacked from moving into our house three and a half years ago. And then this is a bunch of pictures and stuff. I need to go through that. I'm thinking I might just create like a little um, picture box or something and then get rid of the other stuff. These are some clothes that I probably should get rid of. These two tubs right here are actually keepsake bo boxes for Kaysen and Gracie June. Um, but I need to go through. I think I'm going to vacuum seal some of the stuff in that. And then I don't even know what's in that tub either. So... This is the space I'm working with, and this is where I want to keep all of our decor and stuff, just because it makes it easier when I get to pull it out. I don't have to pull it from the upper attic. And then the things that we're not going to use as often will go in the upper attic. But Now, originally, I did think about putting some shelves. I looked up some shelves, and like I thought about putting some shelves here, and then on this wall right here. But honestly, I don't think I'll be able to fit as many tubs there if I do it that way. So I'm thinking I'm still going to just stack them the way that they are and not worry about any shelving. I do want to put some nails or something up so that I can hang up these wreaths though. I think that would be a great way to get those off of the floor. I don't want to put them in any tubs or anything like that. So I think that if I put some nails up here, I will be able to hang those wreaths and... Um, obviously I don't need a bazillion different wreaths. I just need one for each season or whatever that I want to decorate for. All right. So my next step is to go through and actually pull out all the tubs that I don't know what's in them. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to pull out these Halloween and fall tubs. I might just keep them in here and then I'm going to come back. I put some decals on them, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make bigger ones because the ones that I made were kind of small. So I might make some bigger ones with my Cricut and then I'll just put it on here on them in here because they're that'll be pretty easy. Um, but the other tubs I'm going to take out and I'm going to go through them. I don't want to work in here. I'm going to take them all to the playroom. So I'm going to do that in there and then I'm going to start organizing this attic. Try to get it back in order. Like a cargo, you will carry me. I just hope you know my dear. All right, so I moved all the paints and stuff over here, but this stuff is too heavy for me to carry down. There's another paint bucket right here. That's too heavy for me to carry out. And then 
the tiles and stuff like that those are too heavy for me and then like I said I was leaving those in here I'm out of breath it's so hot now too I'm gonna take my shirt off um so I have a bunch of Christmas stuff right here and then these are those empty bins I'm gonna take those and put them in another bin in a minute these are the keepsake bins but I'm gonna go through that in a little bit and then I brought a bunch of bins in here to go through so we are about to do that oh and I forgot I put these right here because this was my old bag that I used for my silhouette which I don't need I haven't used it in years um, and now I have a Cricut anyways which the Cricut would fit in there if I wanted to take it places but that was when I was a teacher I would tote my silhouette back and forth places um, so it was awesome because I would take it to school and then take it back home and it worked great but I don't ever tote my Cricut anywhere so I don't need this bag and then those are some clothes that have been in here in the attic for a while so I don't need those either so I'm gonna get rid of those things all right so I started by going through each tub and deciding what I was gonna keep what I was getting rid of what I was gonna take to Goodwill or donate I have a bunch of teacher supplies that I'm gonna actually take up to the kids school I have several friends that work up there so I'm just gonna let them have it and the teachers can you know just kind of go through stuff and see if they want anything I had things like whiteboards like the individualized whiteboards um, games all kinds of things in there so I figured other teachers could use them and if I ever go back to teaching which I, I don't really see myself doing then I'll just have to buy new stuff but the next thing we did was chance put some nails up here so that way I could put some wreaths up and I just figured this was a lot easier than stacking them in boxes or anything like that so we're gonna hang those here Think of my wreath all. Whatever. It's fine. I just spit everywhere. <laughs> oh, yay. All right, in this shot, I was actually trying to show you guys how much glitter was all over the floor, but it's really not showing up very well in camera. You can see it a little bit, but I'm telling y'all, there's so much glitter on the floor here in the attic from our old Christmas tree that was full of glitter. So I'm just going to vacuum that up really quick. Now the next thing I'm going through are the kids keepsake totes and I decided since I have so much of this stuff in here is cotton like clothing or um, blankets and things like that that I would put them all in a vacuum seal bag and then put them back in the tote to keep them stored in there. Even if you try you wouldn't understand it maybe something's missing inside of you just a bit of sugar to that heart. sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different Now while I was doing this, Chance was actually putting together this huge shelving unit that I'm going to be using in the attic. I'll show you guys what I'm going to use it for in just a little bit, but he was putting this together for me. I got it from Home Depot and I love this shelf. 
and I was really putting Chance to work this day, so he's actually helping me, and we're taking a bunch of stuff downstairs. All of this paint and plaster and extra tiles, all of this stuff we're actually gonna get rid of, and a lot of it was too heavy for me to carry, but I carried what I could, and then he helped me with the rest. Now before I start putting all the bins and everything back in there, I'm actually using my Cricut and I'm just going to cut out some decals for my bins and I have a few Christmas bins, fall, spring and basically I'm just using regular permanent vinyl and I've gotten questions. I get my vinyl from the Cricut website. I do have some other vinyl that I've had forever um, and huge rolls that was given to me back when I was teaching. But honestly, the best vinyl that I have found, the best quality vinyl, is definitely from the Cricut website. All right, so now I am moving my Halloween tubs over here and then putting my fall tubs on top of those. And then all of my Christmas tubs are actually gonna go right in front of these picture frames. We decided to keep that stuff. It's like chances and mine from college days. He was a football player, I was a cheerleader. We have a bunch of stuff. And then we also have an engagement picture that was signed at one of our engagement parties. So we're keeping all of that stuff because we are possibly going to turn the space above our garage into like a man room for chance. Um, we're talking to contractors to see if it's even possible. But anyway, so if we do, we will put that stuff in there. And then here is the shelf that Chance put together and I'm actually using it to store a bunch of organization supplies, which I'll share you, with you all of it in just a second once it's done. All right, so here is coming in to the attic. All right, so I'm trying to show you as best as I can, but these down here are empty tubs. We've got our spring tub here since that is the next thing to pull out to decorate for. Chance put some nails up here so we can hang all of our wreaths. I think it looks awesome. And then coming over here, this is the rest of our seasonal bins. That is still photos that I need to go through, but it fits perfectly right there for right now. Um, and then these are our seasonal bins. Let's see if I can get you to go around me. All right, so we've got two fall bins. We've got two Halloween bins, and that includes the stuff that goes outside. And then coming over here, this is all Christmas. So we've got three Christmas bins, and then this is the tote that we organized all of our Christmas tree ornaments and gift wrap and all of that in. All right, and then coming down here, we still have um, the console thing, the middle console for the back seat here. That's just gonna stay there. And then all of these tubs, so the one on the bottom has a bunch of stuff of chances from college he still needs to go through. This is all stuff that we're keeping of his for now. The top two tubs are Gracie June and Kaysen's keepsake boxes and I actually put them in the vacuum, what is it called, vacuum? Sealed. Sealed. 
um, totes or whatever, so suctioned. Thanks. And then, and then this is the shelf that Chance put together for me that I got from Home Depot. And I plan on just using this to keep all of my organization supplies on here. So as you can see, I've got a lot of M Design containers and totes and all kinds of things for organization. And this is for, um, I actually ordered a lot of extra stuff that I thought I was gonna need. And so if I need anything, I can come up here and look through what I have as I'm doing organization projects. And I do plan on doing some in other people's houses so I can use that stuff from up here too. But um, anyways, so I love this. And if I need anything else that I need to store up here, I can just put it up here on this shelf. And then here's one more look at it this way. We do have our Christmas tree over here, but we can walk in here. We know where everything is now, and it's a lot more organized. What you think? Quite <laughs> Not the best lighting situation, but it works. All right, y'all, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me and hopefully you got tons and tons of cleaning motivation for today. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and introduce yourself in the comments. And then next week, I will be posting the video with cleaning my bedroom and cleaning out my closet, organizing and all of that in there. So hopefully you need some motivation for that. And if you need even more motivation today, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I'll leave some of my most recent ones here on the screen, so that way you can go check those out. I hope you all have an amazing week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!